Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and thanks again for joining me for my Surge playthrough, everybody. I love this stinking game, and guys, today we're gonna go and run around in Creo World. Um, this is a DLC area, and I do consider it a lot easier than a lot of the places we've been fighting in recently. Um, it's definitely gonna be easier than what we've been dealing with here, so hopefully I'm gonna look pretty cool! <laughs> Not get my butt kicked so much like I did out here, man. Research and development is a really difficult area, especially with all this elemental stuff going on. If you've still got the um, if you still got the liquidator gear, I, I really recommend leveling that up and wearing it around here. It's really going to help you out. It's actually a really tough armor set for uh, for an operator class. Like, look, it's even got, you know, it's almost as good as the defense we're getting for the Proteus. Although a couple points of defense in this game are a pretty big deal. Anyway, guys, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time here. We've already seen this. I want to go ahead and jump right into Creo World. Um, I'm going to have to split Creo World up into two parts because Creo World is huge and there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of armors to get, a lot of weapons. I'm also going to try and switch out a lot of our weapons today. Um, a lot of the weapons I've been using have all been the codename weapons because we've been running that angel gear and we got a bonus from using all the angel, uh, or, uh, the codename weapons. But uh, that's no longer the case with our Proteus armor. Our Proteus armor gives us a full, um, gives us passive, passive health regeneration. And this bloody Proteus armor set that we're wearing gives us um, an increase in the amount of all healing effects. So all of our healing items actually work better. And this aggression amplifier which restores health when performing finishing moves it's gonna give us even more health back so really this is just my survival build guys I get this armor and I'm good to go like this is my armor set I'm still gonna change it out probably occasionally just to show off some different armors and some other things because you know I have to I love this game everything is great but uh this is my armor set guys I love this anyway let's stop rambling let's get out to Creo world guys I'm so excited let's go visit a theme park today Oh boy, go into Creo World. <laughs> no fanfare, just suddenly in Creo World. All right, guys, welcome to Creo World. I love Creo World. First time I ever did this DLC, I had so much fun. All right, I do think we're going to drop down and get that item. Yeah, you can just take the lift down, but if you're willing to risk it, Okay. Ah, just a large pile of metal scrap. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's where the lift would have brought us down. Right there, yep. And then we'd be here. Back to Central Production B this way. There are so many different ways to get back to Central Production B. I'm not gonna lie, guys, but right now, this is not the way. Anyway, let's keep moving to Creo World. Here we go. Hello, transmission incoming. Please error. Yes. Hey. Hey, you. I can see you. I just hacked into this drone. Um, please, I need your help. Yeah, that's why we're here, man. Thank need. God. Found someone else who hasn't gone insane like everyone else around here. Um, welcome to Creo World, I guess. This place definitely isn't as family-friendly as it used to be, huh? <laughs> Look, I, I really could use your help. There's a mobile operations center perched on the edge of the sinkhole. You can't miss it. All right, let's get moving. All right, he said the ops was right out here. Look at Iron Mouse! Oh, look at this guy. Haha, <laughs> these little mascots are ridiculous. And they actually never have any armor on any part of their body. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, except the headpiece. So let's go ahead and collect the headpiece, shall we? Come on, then. Ah, see, yeah, the armor lets us get 62 health back every time... Oh, we beat him down. No good, no good. I actually wanted to really grab that helmet, but that's okay. We need to change out weapons. All of these um, codename weapons actually do pretty good elemental damage, I believe. Am I talking nonsense? No, yeah, almost all these codename weapons, I'm pretty sure. Okay, not that one so much. That one's pretty high on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I love elemental damage. It's really good for a lot of reasons, but uh, for me personally, it's not my favorite thing to farm gear with. Uh, 
it just, I don't know, it just never works out really well. All right, we found our buddy. Hey, man, what's up? I'm glad you made it. My name's Largo. It's good to meet you. I'm the operator of the park search and rescue unit. So what are you doing here? Me? I'm just a software engineer running support for my team. They're the real heroes out there saving lives. My skill set is pretty limited to keyboards and repairing Creo hardware. I mean, I always used to joke that I'm the last person you'd want around in an apocalypse. Oh, that's Funny, good. Right? <laughs> Suddenly, not so much. Suddenly, not so much. <laughs> kind of a shaky situation you're in here. What happened? Our team was on a normal flight patrol when the controls all blew out at once. The chopper was falling fast. I pulled the emergency release on the mobile ops station, like you're supposed to do when things go bad. <sighs> I thought I was a goner, but I got lucky. Must have been flying low over the ridge. When I woke up, I found the ops lab where it landed here, perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. What happened to the rest of your search and rescue team? That's what I want to find out. I can't give up on them, no matter the odds. Rodriguez, Nordberg, Eastwood, Helvig, all of them. They're good men with families. I've got a contact ping on loop since I got the station's comms working, but no one's answering. I'm just trying not to assume the worst, you know? Yeah. Do you know what caused all Nobody this? Nobody can tell me what's going on around here. Maybe you can. Some kind of big energy surge fried my team's chopper and we fell right out of the sky. I haven't been able to raise any of them on comms since the crash. And now? Everything is gone insane. The park's mega support pillar collapsed, the systems are damaged or out of control. <laughs> this is apocalypse level shit. But there might be survivors out there. And if my team's looking for them, they'll be depending on me to get these systems up and running again. I'm their eyes and ears. Look, I could really use some feet on the ground right now. That's what we're here for. I can help. Just tell me what to do. Thanks. Uh, let me do a quick system check. Power is still out all over the park. Ops is running on emergency batteries only. And not for long. First things first, we need to get this place fully operational. Now, let me check the network. Nope, nada, no dice. We're completely offline. <sighs> Without network access, I can't do diddly squat from here. Okay. Let's uh let's do the power first, guys. So how do I restore power to the park? My best guess is that whatever happened out there physically damaged the power source itself. See if you can track down the problem and then find uh some way to fix it. Not that helpful, I admit. I just <laughs> do numbers and code, you know? <laughs> all right. All right. We'll be back. Good luck out there. What's out this way? Oh! Whoa! No Just kidding. Sudden, right? It's a long way down. You know what I mean? Huh? Woo! Yeah, guys, this thing is perched, like, right on a cliff edge. Hey, our buddy's back. Let's see if we can get that silly helmet. Come here, pal! <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling really tough here. Like, really tough here. Ow. Give me that helmet. Nice. Donnie Donuts. Yeah, look at that down there, guys. Ooh, and the ops is just barely hanging on right above us. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, we've got little locks on doors and stuff. Not too many directions to go from here. Only two directions, actually. So we're going to head up this way. Actually, let me deposit all my scrap. There we go. We're going to have to come back pretty soon and start leveling up some different weapons here. Just need more. Yeah, I just need more scrap, though. We'll get some scrap. All right, guys. Let's start taking a look around. Now, this whole path is pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to go ahead and wail on guys and pick up items as I go. There's really not a whole lot, like, secret or anything crazy like that here. So let's get to beating down some mascots. Let's collect some helmet pieces, too. Man, yeah, I'm feeling really tough here. I usually come here a lot earlier. Woo! 
forget the name of this guy. They all have silly, silly little little names. Oh, he's gonna pop. There we go. Give me that helmet. Who do we have here? This is uh Bradley the Bee. <laughs> ah, okay, another thing though. Um something that's really awesome about these enemies in particular, guys, and if you come here earlier in uh, Central Production B, like you can. Um totally uh, totally optional to do that. Um I feel like this place is a really good place to train up for several reasons. Um, look at that. Definitely get some really good, interesting uh, upgrades here and implants that you can't get in the other game. Well, you can get them, but you're not going to get them until later. You get them a little earlier here, which is pretty nice. Um, the other thing that's really cool is uh, I know these guys have no armor on, but when you chop pieces off, you still get... Yeah, see, we're, get oh, we're only getting level 2 gear here, but we got the weapon from them. Uh, same thing with legs, too. I believe there's another one down here. Uh, well, I want the helmet. We'll get the helmet off this guy first, but we'll go back to, uh, collecting the other stuff in here in a minute. But yeah, um, so they aren't technically wearing any armor, but you will get, uh, upgrade pieces off of them. Iron Bar Ivan. Hilarious. I think there's one more. Is there one? Yeah, here he is. Previous visitor detected. Now syncing private media to your Creo Work account. Welcome back, Warren. Creo World staff is happy that you have chosen to join the Creo family. Yeah, there is a cute backstory here with Warren. We may try to listen to that. There's a couple of audio logs around here that give you give you a really cute little backstory of Warren here. There we go, and that's our last helmet. Samuel J. Soda. <laughs> oh, now we have all those helmets. It's great. Yeah, these guys are super easy to farm up because they are wearing no armor, but because they still drop armor pieces. Um, man, they're so easy to farm up. They, they take a beating, they're staggered really easy, and you can just constantly collect pieces. These guys, on the other hand, I'm going to want this armor set. This armor set is kind of cool. Guys, we may try and level up all of the cool weapons we get here. Now, they are DLC weapons from this DLC, obviously, but I've, I've, I kind of want to play with them. Um, we should get them and level them up and play with them for a while, especially while we're here. Oh, yeah. Bad camera angle. Bad. <laughs> the Mantis armor. It's pretty good armor set. And the Emerald. Nice single rig over there. Uh, that implant we just picked up. There it is. Okay. Plasmic accumulator. Let's go ahead and look at that for a second because I don't remember what it does. Oh my gosh. No, I do know what this one does. This one is ridiculous. So you can actually overheal yourself with this one and get like a big temporary uh, health bar. And that's actually what I used to do with this armor set. Since this armor set... Okay, how am I going to break this down? So... Okay, so you equip this and you can. You can heal yourself past your maximum health bar. You know, you can get a, a, a cool little, like, health buffer. Um, the buffer will slowly decay, but since this armor that we're wearing gives us passive health regeneration, it really doesn't. Uh, it does, but it's really slow, and then our healing effects are increased. So, honestly, that's one of my favorite... I forgot that I got that here, and I'm really glad I have that because now I can show you guys one of my my favorite builds later. Um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to go back and and change out that implant at the med bay. Can't do that on the fly here. Ha! You're Don talking about everybody showing off the exo rig here. Oh, there it is, guys. Medivoltaic Injection version 3. Do you know what we had to go through in uh, research and develop development to get this? Um, again, I could have gotten this halfway through Central Production B. We could have picked up that uh, my my better heal way earlier than we did. I really, like, yeah, if you're if you're not looking for a challenge, you know, if you're, if you're looking to just really, if you want, like, good stuff, uh, definitely come here and grab the gear that you can find here because it is it's all kind of like later gear implants and it's going to make you a little tougher when you go this back to central production b somehow. look around for a big power core might come in handy but yeah getting that uh 
I was waiting for Don to finish, and he didn't really have too much more to say. But yeah, getting that that heal item earlier is definitely a lot more handy than <laughs> we we definitely went through on a challenge mode there, running without it for a little while because uh, yeah, life was tough there in research and development, barely being able to heal until we finally got the better heal, and then we got the armor, which gave us an even better heal. Like so, now we're good, you know. Um, I've got my gear. Ah, this is kind of my setup and how I like to play, and everything here is so weak. We are so tough. We are so tough. Oh, I love this thing, guys. Okay, so we've had a couple of big axe weapons, but this one is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, the Chop Master 5000. Yeah, we'll be getting into that in a little bit. Let me pick this up and listen to it and see if this has anything to do with Warren's little story, because I do want to share that. Nope, just a short little infomercial from Dawn there. It's actually talking about the the Creo rigs, you know, that, which is what um, Warren here is wearing, uh, and actually just letting everyone know that yeah, in in this world, in the world that Warren lives in in this timeline, um, what? So we've kind of heard a little bit about it in research and development, and in uh, and in um, oh, what was it before that? The uh, Resolve Bio Labs. Um, R Resolve is actually causing this. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, someone tell me if I'm wrong there in the comments if you know better, but if I remember correctly, Resolve is actually causing this problem among the population, and it is slowly killing us, like they said. Utopia plans to fix that by providing us all with artificial bodies and just, you know, destroying the population swiftly so there's no suffering. Ah, it's a rock and a hard place. Anyway, enough of that deep talk. Let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in here. This is going to be a battle. Um, yeah, they don't like to take it easy on you in the Surge. But we are pretty tough. Oh, I wish I wasn't wearing Twin Rigged for this, but... Ah, what's the only other thing? The Staff? I don't want to use the Staff yet. We'll get around to that. Go ahead and keep these on. Woo! All right, guys, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, he dodged me! The rudest! Oh, yeah. Here they come. Everybody's coming. Yeah, let's fight, everybody. Come on. I'll take this. Thank you. Ah, the camera. The camera. Thank you. Come on, big guy. Let's fight. Oh, the other two are just standing up there. You guys don't want to fight yet? Come on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Bring them all on. Let's do this. Ow. Ah, ow! No, we're good, we're good! It's all good! Everything's fine! Oh, I need more stamina! Hello! Ow! Ah! I need a leg piece! Will you just stand still? Yeah, you. Come on, me and you. Gotcha. Ooh. You must be close to the power core. No floating. I don't like it. <laughs> uh yeah, here we go. This thing? Yep. Got what we were looking for. Better uh, keep following the cables. There's gotta be a master control ahead. Hey -ya! I think that's all the Mantis gear we need. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I thought there was one hidden back here, and it's a really good one, too. That Palladium E-Cell does a couple of things, and it's really handy. Let me go jog my memory. Here it is. Yeah, so it increases maximum energy, but it is quite big. Uh, 28 uh, compared to, I think, the only one... I think the only other one that we have for that are... These? Yeah, and they only give 12. So 28 is pretty nice. Do we have a bigger one? I don't know that I have a... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So that's the only way we're going to get more energy in our builds, but that's okay. I... Energy is great to have around, but it's not something I really focus. I really focus stamina for myself in this game. I really just... I want the stamina to keep fighting, keep moving, keep blocking. There we go. That just opens up shortcut back here which is the path that we went around to go and fight all those lumberjacks. But 
We're here at the fire starter, which is a roller coaster. I'm gonna go ahead and poke my head in here real quick. And before we go up the stairs, we're gonna go around back. Hiya! Rip him in half! Nice and nice and easy. Yeah, these guys are wimps, not a problem. Oh, guys, are we finally high enough level to start opening some of these? All right, so yeah, I think it's 55 might be the lowest one I think I know of. And if you can finally open these, you get Nano Core. Nano Core is, well, I might not tell you. We might save that for a surprise later. Ow! Oh, I hate that move. It takes away all your stamina, all your built-up energy. It's just rude. Yeah, we'll come back to the Nano Cores, but it's very important. They are extremely important. If you get them, and if you have the ability to, to level up and get them, uh, collect all of them. You're gonna want all the all of those you can find. Yeah, still got a barrier here. Can't go in here yet. And that's pretty much all there is there. Just those couple items and those guys. We're gonna move on now. Across the bridge here. Pretty sure this is an Iron Mouse fan. Oh my god, Kev. Real world is totally awesome. You so wish you were here right now. You so Open wish you were here right now. As I say these two words. Iron Mouse. <laughs> yeah, for reals. <laughs> and not just like a guy in a suit. He's a full-on AI synthetic Iron Mouse. I had a conversation with him about Rusty Rat. But get this. In like an hour... I'm meeting. Ready for it? Carbon cat. I gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> I love that little conversation. Iron Mouse and Carbon Cat. That is another one of the armor sets I would like to wear today, guys, at some point, because this theme park is kind of based around Iron Mouse, and I love Iron Mouse, and I love that armor, and it's a lot of fun. So we are going to slip that on here in a little while, mess around with that. Oh, these guys. These guys are tough. Ah, and they hit like trucks. I know we're we're pretty. How much how much are you gonna hurt me for? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So you know, not as tough as it would be if you were only level two here, but we're doing just fine. Not a problem. Whew, fair warning to you guys. If, it's, if you're playing, if you, not you. Oh, it's the parade. All right, so this is kind of weird to explain. There's a whole parade of these bots going through the park, and they're always walking around. Every time you rest, they're going to reset, and they're going to be walking around again. Um, yeah, and it's all of it's all of them, and they will all fight you as soon as you initiate, which we're going to do. I think you need to chop a body part off uh, the chest piece to get that cool staff on their backs, the little candy cane. Did I get it? No. Is it right arm, then? Does this one of them have a chance to drop it? I'm not sure. Oh, the rest of them didn't come. Okay, well, we'll have to try and get that again later. We're not going to go that way. I was going to say, guys, if you beat those big guys, they're called ogres. Um, if you beat an ogre and you punch one of these, they turn into proximity mines. Ah! And you can use them to hurt enemies, which is great, uh, but they are kind of dangerous, especially if you're fighting multiple ogres. All right, yeah, so instead of going up the stairs, we took a right, we went down this path, and it's kind of a dead end over here. I don't know why he was running or what he was running after. So it kind of looks like a dead end. Whoa, look at this straggler. How'd you get so far behind? Go ahead and give me that, uh, give me that staff. You do that? No, he didn't. Well, that's a shame. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, okay, so... Enough rambling. This this little power uh, circuit right here, we want to overcharge this. There we go. Yeah, and then we're back down here in the Iron Mouse Plaza with this guy. And let me look around for a second. I'll actually show you where I'm at if you don't know. Get out of here. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but this is where we entered. This is, you know, this is where we came from. This is the main area here, which is nice. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to go back and rest yet at operations. We're still looking for some place to bring power back to this whole area so that we can move around a little more freely. So let's keep going up here to the Skybound Adventure. 
God, did you guys hear that click? I hope that's not coming through in the recording. I've got like a weird audio click going on in my headset. And I feel like I've already restarted the game to try to get rid of it. It's not going away though. Okay. I don't know, maybe that'll be better. It's really bugging me. <laughs> oh boy, I can hear him. Where'd he go, where'd he come? Nope, okay. Yeah, this whole little plot, this whole area up here is actually pretty flooded with baddies. There is one little secret back here. If I can actually fight, jeez we I'm getting a little too lax now because I'm feeling really powerful here. It's going to get me killed. There is a secret little path back here, guys. It's it's pretty hard to see. They hide it pretty well, actually. Uh, let's come up the stairs. I'll show you exactly where to walk to get to it. So come up these stairs. Take a left here. And it's just a nice little segment right here in the wall. Yeah, let's get down here. Right here, this nice little item. Another big health boost. Those XL health boosts are actually bigger than the version 3s, I'm pretty sure. Let's go take a look. Yeah, the level 3s we're using right now give us 66. Let's go down and find... There it is. 71. These are bigger. 6 core power, though, compared to 4, so got to be a little higher level to use them which is fine do we have the mantis headgear i'm pretty sure i already got the mantis headgear there we go not a problem all right who's next ha -ha! <laughs> no problems here come here ow oh didn't mean to backflip away that was the wrong combo ah yeah Not a problem. Nice new weapon back here, guys. Don't don't forget to come around the back here. This is an awesome little one-handed weapon. Severed rotor blade. Literally just like a helicopter blade that's been sharpened. I love that, actually. All right. What we're going to want to do next is actually go into the Skybound Adventure, but we're going to hang on one second. We're going to go back around this way. And take out this little buddy. Yeah! Not a problem. Get this item back here. Ah, uh, the Ablative Array. I think it's just act literally just increased defense when your energy is high, which is awesome. I usually run that too. I like, yeah, I'm really not focused on damage when I play this game. Uh, you know, the combat is good enough to where I could really hold my own and just fight, 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 and it's awesome. <laughs> I forgot about this, guys. Let's see if we can get a picture. <laughs> Oh, how awesome is that? Oh, that's awesome. We take our picture with Iron Mouse. I better put my helmet back on. There we go. All right, before we go any further, because there is, once you go up this, uh, this is the next path, and it's the only other path out of here, really, and it is kind of a, a commitment. Once you drop down there, you're stuck in there. Uh, so let's not go that way yet. We're going to go check out the Skybound Adventure and do what we need to in here. Okay, guys, quick confession. I had to restart the game there. there was I was getting a really weird little audio click, and I hope it's gone now, but... Let's let's go ahead and continue. All right, into Skybound Adventure. Let's get in here. Nice little item hidden around back here. Nothing much. Oh, there's that click again. I hope you guys aren't hearing that. Anyway. A little, little room back. It's just a little room back here. Nothing big. Nothing special. And this is what we were looking for, guys. We brought a power core all the way from the Lumberjacks to here. Power in this area has been restored. All right. Hey, hey, you did it. The power has been restored. Oh, good job. Okay, now just got to get the network back online. See if you can find the main server in the Project Resolve Center. This ogre outside, did you guys see the salute and the flex and now, yeah, look at him. He's like, yeah, you, hey. All right, well, we've restored power and we've busted everything up and now everything is awake. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Fighting at close quarters. Oh, yeah, that duck and hop. You shouldn't use heavy weapons against me. I know all the heavy weapons. I know how to fight against your heavy weapons. 
I don't know how we chopped that head off. We are definitely way shorter than him. I do want to collect that entire ogre headgear, though. That's so nice. Oh, here's the parade again. I would really like to get that candy cane staff. <laughs> Give it to me. Let me have it. <gasps> there it is. Is it the head? Why the head? That doesn't make any sense to me. Fiery popcorn pole. Love it. It's hilarious. All right. So we're not going to go this way to go and do all this because there's another way to come up here. And while this is a shortcut kind of from this area, I don't want to take it. So we're going to go back. I'll show you where it drops down, though. Don't you guys worry. We're going to backtrack just a little bit down here. And then suddenly we're near Ops again. So we're not going to go back to Ops yet. We're going to take a left when we come out of here. If you're coming from Ops, obviously it's just around the corner. And instead of taking that trail that we took uh, over there to the right, that path, you'd come back this way. And it's right up here, this little path right here. Now this is going to be a dead end, but we're going to go ahead and take a look up here anyway. Let's go ahead and challenge this guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, got him. No problem. Took a leg off. All right. And we do want to activate this this circuit. Oh, I got hiccups already. The hiccup the hermit gets hiccups. What? That's a thing. All right. Now, we're going to go backtrack all the way back uh, to where we just were before we come back here again. So let's get back up here real quick. And behind the coffee craft up here where we found the sever rotor uh, blade, this door is now open. Uh, that power circuit actually opens this little area. And you can sneak back here and grab this fancy thing. More vital boosts. I mean, you can get so much health here, guys. Um, honestly, after coming to this place and collecting all of these awesome extra large health boosts, uh, it's really easy to go back and wear something like the Scarab Armor and just become a giant health tank. Like, forget armor. You'll have so much health you won't need anything. <laughs> that, that That's a really good armor set, honestly. All right, let's get some new ogre pieces. Oh, yeah! Don't know where he went. We knocked him clear off the stage there. That was hilarious. All right, coming back around this way, because I think this lets me sneak up behind this guy. Yeah, let's try and get the cool... Uh, I want a leg piece. Let's get a leg for the ogre. Back kick! Oh, yeah! Give me a leg piece! Oh! Ow! Well, that hurt a lot, actually. Woo! What? I missed my knee there? Are you kidding me? Ah, doing terrible at getting the gear, guys. I really need to swap up weapons, which is probably what all of this tech scrap is going to go toward. Uh, probably just gonna Okay, so yeah, this is where you would have hopped down, right there. So that's where we came from. Uh, if you come the other way and you hop down and you commit, it's really just right here. So you're really not that far down or up in either direction. It's really not a bad thing to hop down there and go that way. That looks like the Project Resolve Center. Now, um, try to find the main server room. hi -ya! Oh! Let's get a leg piece. Come on, give me that leg piece. Give me that. Yeah! There we go. Lots of ogres up here. I would love to wear the ogre set in the next episode. Oh, you know what we haven't been wearing this episode, though, guys? Hang on one second. Actually, hang on. No, let... Okay. Before we get in here, before we do this area, let me go back. I'm going to swap armors and implants up just a little bit, just for fun. Because I think we're coming up on the halfway point here. Which is good. Which is good. But I want to swap up some armors real fun. We, I love this armor set. and It's been great. But let's mix it up a little bit, shall we? I'll bring you guys back in a minute when I've got everything straightened away. You've seen me swap through stuff forever. So I'll just bring you back with uh, the new outfit and the new implants. And I'll explain everything. You don't have to watch me go through that process. See you guys in just a second. All right, everybody. We have become Iron Mouse. <laughs> I've swapped up a couple of the weapons. We actually uh, were able to level this all up to level three, which is awesome. And there's something silly. There's a couple interesting things about the Iron Mouse set. 
The Iron Mouse set cannot be worn separately from anything else. You can mix and match other gear and other armor, but when you equip one piece of any of the Iron Mouse gear, suddenly you're wearing the whole set. You have to be Iron Mouse and you gotta go with it or you go home, that's it. You're Iron Mouse or nothing, I love Iron Mouse. So Iron Mouse is awesome. Wearing a full set of Iron Mouse gear causes your drone's anti-kinetic shield to also greatly increase your stability. We don't have the anti-kinetic shield yet, I forget whether or not we get that here, or if we get it in the next area in the game. It's actually a really awesome little drone that provides us with a shield. Um, you've seen it used a lot in research and development. A lot of those drones were providing all of those guys with those shields. Um, I also managed to level up the rotor to level 3 and these mangled articulators, which is cool. Um, we'll have to... I'm going to try and get the fiery popcorn pole or another one of these normal stabs up later, but we need some more, uh, we need some more uh, tech scrap. I, I actually did use up all of my uh, consumables to get all of this up this high, but we're feeling good, feeling crazy. Another really awesome thing, two, two awesome things about the Iron Mouse set before we move on. Uh, it costs no core power to wear. Again, this armor costs zero core power to wear. So. Implants are crazy. We went all over the place. I have so much health now. I have so much stamina. We still get an energy back when we uh, block attacks. Um, I've got increased attack speed when my energy is high, which is going to be a lot of fun. And, of course, extra energy gain, as always. And the blue X cables, which is really one of my favorites. I just love having to use less energy because um, then we don't actually need to level up our energy gain or our energy bar at all. Another really awesome thing about this armor set, guys, if you can hear it, is it kind of turns all the sound effects for fighting in the game into really old school, um, like really old school thwack and pow kind of comic book sounds, and I love that. Let's, uh, yeah, listen in. Oh, I think it's hilarious. It's it's pretty subtle. It's a pretty it's a it's a subtle thing to hear, but it's really fun and it and it really kind of I don't know, it tickles me really good. I love it. Oh yeah. I think we completely destroyed his chest piece. Oh, oh. Got him. Not bad. All right, picking up all the gear. Oh, twin, twin rig leveled up, so now we need a staff, right? Yep. Oh, that's a shame. I really wish I could, wait, 11? Uh, I think we needed 11,000. Let me go see if we can level up a different staff. Let's get something a little more appropriate for Iron Mouse rather than a code name weapon. Okay, so the fiery pole is, is fun and it's a little silly. I don't know that I'm gonna use it though. Um, I'm really tempted actually to either use Let's see here. Should we go with... This is the boss weapon that we got from uh, Big Sister. Spitfire Rod. It's pretty awesome. Look at them stats. It's nice. Let's go check the Negotiator, though. Yeah, we're going to go with the Spitfire Staff just because it has the most energy gain. And for my playstyle specifically, um, energy gain is extremely important. There we go. Spitfire Rod. I think that's the only weapon still at level 11. Yep. All right. Look at that health and stamina bar. How much stamina are we running with nowadays? 174. That's nice with this. This is a good setup. This armor is pretty durable too, actually. Gotcha! Such a weird attack. It's like an overload. <laughs> right up into the sky with that knee. That was hilarious. Okay, we got that item. All right, moving on. Going inside, guys. Let's get in here. Got a little bit of an ambush. But I can't believe he's not dropping down on me, actually. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I thought there was an... I was like, where is... I know there's an ogre in here. He kind of surprised me. I was waiting to tell you guys, like, hey, be careful of this ogre. <laughs> he was hiding from me. Sneaky little dude. Slamming. Doing great. All right, a couple of little, little areas back here, but there is an ambush in here we got to be careful of. Woohoo! Doing great. 
Oh yeah, we got normal lights on the Iron Mouse gear. And I think the lights come out of his ears, which I really love, actually. I'm pretty sure. They definitely look like they have little bulbs in them. <laughs> which just tickles me. Pretty sure this lift doesn't work for us. Yep, okay. Moving on. Same thing in here. I don't think this lift will work for us. Oh, there is no lift in this one. Ha, I'm talking out my butt. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's begin the climb. Facility currently out of order. Please enjoy the rest of Creo World. But we're here to help. Warren is here to help. <laughs> he almost tripped over all that stuff, looks like. Gotcha! Ba -ba -ba. Block it! Oh, yeah, we did it good. We did it good. Gotcha! Poke, poke, poke! Ow! Bam! Bam! I love that the staff is a really good combination of, like, really hard-hitting, dramatic, uh, heavy hits, and then also, like, just really fun, fast, quick combos, too. It's got a good mix of both. Oh! He turned around and clobbered us right as we ran into him! Boom! Rip him in half! There we go. Not a problem. Gosh, only a 1.6 modifier. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Falling from this height won't hurt you, so don't worry too much, but it's just the cord the tight quarters up here that make fighting a little difficult. They love to do that to you in the surge, though. They love to give you difficult areas, difficult scenery. Look at how tight this is. Whoa! Don't start that up. Don't you do it. hi <laughs> Oh, why is Iron Mouse so much fun? I love Iron Mouse. All right, there's one more if, one more guy over here. Nice. Got him. All right, now we're gonna try and bring power back online. Pretty sure activating that makes this guy come to life. Yeah, I just, <laughs> he wasn't moving. Woo. Bam. Haha, <laughs> that combo is always awesome looking. Hiya! Oh, we kind of like jumped toward him. We missed that first knee and just kind of let him hit us. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, everything hit a lot harder in research and development. Oh, we didn't have a body gear yet? Awesome. All right, so after this, this path is not super obvious, or maybe it is, I guess, but you're just gonna wanna climb up here. Go ahead and sneak out here to grab this item. Silly little concussion bot. Now, the concussion bot will, will knock you. Whoa! Okay, that hurt a little bit. Let me get back up there. Yeah, that concussion bot's whole job is to knock you off up there and it will hurt if you fall. As you saw, it might not kill you, but depending on how much health you have, you know, it, it could do some damage. All right, there is an item out here, and this is a really tricky jump. But we're gonna try and get it, Kim. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible attempt. We'll try it one more time. Ready, everybody? Here we go. Oh, he stumbled on the... Okay. Oh, my gosh. J jump, man. Warren, why won't you jump? He keeps st stumbling on the on the wireframe. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at that health. I got to go back and rest. That is one hit, and we are dead, and it's one more fall, and we're dead. Let's just... Let's get back. Let me heal up, and then I'm just going to rush up there so we can open up the door and continue. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've just kind of run by everybody. I'm kind of bummed because we had to reset our rested multiplier, but I really want to make this jump and find out what's over there. Just not very entertained at, uh... Oh, don't fall off, Warren! Come on, buddy! Oh! Let me ask you guys. Why would you step forward so much? You know, Warren, just let me ask you that question. Let me swing that staff once. Look at how far forward he stepped. This is unnecessary. Unnecessary, Warren. Oh, 
boy. Seriously, though, what is going on? Let's get all the way out here on the edge. All right, here we go. Oh, we made it! Kinetoplasmic shunt. I don't remember this. All right, heals you after five successful quick hits. That's cool. I don't remember that. I don't think I've ever used that one too much. Because honestly, after two or three hits, I get enough energy saved up and I'm good to go, you know? Like, I really love this build and that healing item I use. That's really all I need. Anyway, guys, let's continue. Ominous. That's a shortcut back down below us. We saw that lift earlier and it, you know, it wasn't, it, we weren't able to use it, but we'll get to it. And that one's locked up. Ah, yeah, this is what we're looking for. We just want to reboot Creo World. Let's do it. This is what we've been looking for. Well done. You started the rebooting process. Oh, it locked um, us in here. Uh, Apparently, during the procedure, the room triggers a temporary lockdown. But at least you should be safe in there, uh, right? Oh, we should be safe in here, he says. Yeah, this is good. Oh, concussion bots too. I forgot about that. Oh, laser bot. That's the worst. Those laser bots can really mess us up. Oh, no mercy. Iron Mouse shows no mercy. Boom! <laughs> oh, um, hey, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it seems like the signal attracts those robots. Well, that's good. You can handle this, right? The booting process is started. We're getting closer. Oh, it's only starting. That's good. That's good. All right. Pretty sure. Uh oh, look at him carrying like another piece of the other guy on him. We're about to get squished. Yep, I saw you. I saw you. You want to go, buddy? Ha! Kapow! Concussion bot, man. Always level in the playing field for me. <laughs> oh! My gosh, I'm actually pretty sure that hit us. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, so we've got these proximity binds set up now with all their cores they're dropping. Boom! Makes it very okay? easy to set them up. The system is stubborn. Um, I, I need more time. Hey, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is that the lockdown is still active. The good news, however, I just hacked into a projector drone that might be able to help you. It'll project a hologram of you so those dumb robots won't be able to tell who's the real thing. Um, I hope. He hopes. Hey, look! It's Iron Mouse! It does project us! That's so cool. I'm actually pretty sure it always projects Iron Mouse, no matter what you do. Uh, or what you're wearing, but I love that I forgot that it was going to project Iron Mouse while we are being Iron Mouse. Oh, look at these guys just constantly attacking that thing. We gotta be careful. Oh! Oh, yeah, I got you. No problem. Let's get the drone to knock him senseless, shall we? Ah! Nice. Of course there is. All right, we're going to go in here and check in here because this lift has been unlocked now, and this is going to take us someplace a little different. Going deep, deep into the depths of park maintenance. What do we have down here? Oh, guys, check this out. Yeah, this is where they maintain the bots. But look at what one is missing. That would be carbon cats. All the rest of these guys look fine and normal, mostly. Oh, Ancillary Core XL. Extra, extra power. Gotta love that. Guys, we got no clips while we were down there. No little audio clips. I can 
take it back. And now we're sneakily back out in Iron Mouse Plaza. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's a, it's a really fun sneaky way back. The other the other path that you can take um, just brings you back down into the, the main lobby of that Skybound Adventure. Or not Skybound Adventure. Um, what was that we were just in? The uh, Resolve Center. Yeah. But let's go back and visit our buddy. Apparently he's got one more thing he'd like us to do. Hey, man, we did all the things. Hey, welcome back, my friend. Well done out there. All systems are up and running. But we're not done. I need you to search the chopper crash site for any sign of Chief Helvig and my team. Also, keep an eye out for the black box. The data on there might give us a clue to what the hell happened out here. That can't be all. Here's the thing. When the chopper went down, it crashed pretty hard. You can see where it crashed, up there across the sinkhole. I didn't think it was reachable, but now with the systems restored, maybe... <gasps> the rusty spring tower! I can control it from here. I'll uh, lower the platform and you can ride it back up to the crash site. Sounds good. Good luck out there. Let's go do this. We're going to go look for our buddy's chopper and all his teammates. So we're going to fight our way back up here. The Rusty Spring Tower is back up this way. Ow. Ow. Really? I wonder what Chief Helvig is going to think if we show up in the Iron Mouse house. Hey, buddy, I'm here to help you. Um, I work here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just wondering what the what that guy behind the counter thinks. Like We showed up you know, in the bloodied Proteus gear. Probably looking pretty menacing and, and tough and rude. And then, you know, after 15, 20 minutes in the park, we're dressed up as Iron Mouse. <laughs> but I said it in the first episode. Warren is an Iron Mouse fan. So am I. Yeah. So when I get the opportunity to dress up as Iron Mouse, you know, I got to take it. Hey, Come here, buddy. Largo. I'm moving the spring tower platform to your position. You should be able to use it to reach the chopper. Hopefully you'll find my chief, Helvig. He's kind of an asshole, but he's my boss. <laughs> and I'm worried about him. Also, remember to keep your eyes open for the black box. We need that data. Yes, we will keep an eye out. We're going to go down first, guys. They want us to go up. I always go the opposite direction, I'm told, just to keep looking around and checking things out. Look at what we have down here. I'm not going to grab that real quick. Just going to sneak in here to park maintenance. Go down a little deeper. Yeah, I'm not getting any of those audio clips down here. There must be something up with, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to point fingers or blame anything, but man, yeah, we're getting weird audio clips up there in the park itself. Okay, a couple of hidden items back here. A pile of rusty scrap, another audio log we're going to skip. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's keep going this way. Nice little hidden item out here. Flare launcher. Okay, another... Another drone, not the kinetic one that we're looking for. I really would like to get that kinetic drone for this armor set. It kind of turns you into a like a like a juggernaut, honestly. You're wearing this armor and you've got that kinetic dro shield drone. You become pretty unstoppable. Oh, this brings us back to Firestarter. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, but all ultimately not super helpful to us right now. All sorts of crazy snaking paths, guys. All right, let's make our way back to the Rusty Spring Tower, which is just back this way. No, it's not. I'm a fool. It's back this way. Yeah, up and up and up we go. All right, now we've got this. An Endurance Enhancer XL2. Uh, I'm telling you guys, if you come here a little early um, in Central Production B, this place will be a little tougher, but... You know, if you can if you can push your way through it, you will come out of here with some great armor, some great gear, cool weapons, lots of really good implants is really why you want to do this. The implants are so handy. Hey, there's the helicopter. And Chief Helvig. I missed this. Yep. Oh, yay. Hey, big guy. Oh! Oh, man, your chief is not a happy guy. Come on, chief. I really want his weapon, so we're going to really focus that right arm. That staff would be really nice to have. Ha. Oh, the concussion drone is not fair. Knocking people right into me all the time. Oh, nice. We're doing great. 
Get around behind him. Let the concussion drone knock him right toward us. Oh, didn't work that way this time. You just gonna stand there? It's the standoff. Slow walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, Helvig, man. Yeah, he, he packs a punch, this guy does. Oh! Let's let's not get too cocky here. Oh, we've got it! We've got it! Give me that arm. Ooh, close fight. Yeah, man, stabs are not my favorite weapon. They're actually really hard to keep the energy up with. Good fight. SNR Kingfisher. Let's go ahead and put that thing on. I just want to see it. Oh, yeah, the energy gain is better. Very high proficiency scaling. This is the staff right here, man. And the black box. We got the black box. Awesome. Hey, Largo. What happened up there? There was some interference. I'm just getting visual back now. Oh, oh. buddy. You don't want to oh look. Oh, my God. That looks like the chief. I'm so sorry. His implant must have fried like the rest. But at yeah. least you found the black box. Thank God. You got to bring it back to Ops right away. Maybe we can find out what the hell happened to this place. All right, guys. That is pretty much it for the first half. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. We'll bring the black box back to Largo down there in Ops in the next episode and continue because there is an entire second half to all of Creo World, and I'm so excited to get back into it because the second half of Creo World should be tougher. I believe there will be level three enemies. Um, funny thing, if you do come here super early, uh, if you come here as early as you possibly can in Central Production B, this is as far as the DLC will actually let you go. Again, they've worked it into the story really well, so where the next area will be tougher, we'll definitely be fighting some level three creatures, and you're gonna see some really cool, crazy things that we're about to run into in the main game too. So. I don't know, I just love the way that they spaced it out. I love the way that they worked it into the game. I really love and enjoy running around Creo World. This place is a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. It's been a lot of fun running around Creo World. I love playing as Iron Mouse. I'm going to go ahead and keep wearing this armor, even if we don't have the kinetic bot. Um, to back us up with it and we may end up swapping around to some of the new armors that we pick up around here um, Picking up a little tech scrap as we go, but not as much as we were getting again Everything here was a little weak for us But hopefully in the next area everything will be back up to level three giving us a good challenge and allowing us to continue Collecting a lot of good scrap and leveling up all our gear Anyway, everybody if you had fun hanging out with me today Do me a favor smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the surge with me I'd love to do the second surge eventually too. I'm actually a lot better at that one They gave me some new skills in the second surge that they shouldn't have but I love the first surge. Couldn't show you the second one without showing you the first one. And I'm having a really good time. Anybody else playing through with me or anybody else picking up for the first time? How's your playthrough going? How are you liking the game so far? I really love this game. It's amazing. I'm so excited to get back in the next episode. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And like I keep saying, I'll see you guys the next time I play Surge.